Okay, now we have part two of our uh, short video sequence. Uh, and I show you that in the steam turbine, all the parts here are wired. The engine is wired to the electronic circuit here, uh, which enables a stabilized voltage. I adjusted it uh, to 13 volt so every voltage between 10 and 36 volt depending on the speed here of the tubing is finally adjusted to 13 volt and you have on the front uh, these voltmeter uh, the instrument here shows the actual volt uh, when the machine is running. I tested it today uh, and it worked. And now you see also the two uh, parts which are finally linked to uh, these uh, engine, or the power supply. You have uh, here on this side, you see the uh, lamp. It had it has in the in the top here it has a bulb which uh, runs with 12 or 13 volt and the interesting thing is it needs only 0.1 ampere current which is pretty low the light which is produced is uh, compared to a normal bulb in the range of 15 watt so uh, it is uh, based on LEDs and this explains why it needs only such a low current. And with this trick you have a high speed running turbine because due to the fact that we have only a low current uh, the resistance in, the, in this um, engine here is pretty low because there is no um, resistance formed by high current and uh, with this trick we should run even at relative low speed uh, successfully this lamp and also we can load uh, for instance um, certain devices like a handy or so via this USB port uh, or USB uh, charging unit. So I just assembled now the whole unit. Um, it, I, it contains here in the lower part, here it contains the steam turbine. Uh, in this middle section you have these two sockets. Uh, one is uh, connecting here the lamp and the other side there I have uh, USB uh, charging uh, device installed uh, it has two USB ports for charging of uh, USB devices and uh, here in the upper part uh, we have the electronic and uh, which is separated by two intersections here walls in between this prevents that the heat and the steam which is blown to the bottom out of the bottom is not contaminating this upper part and heating up the electronic uh, the electronic uh, wouldn't stand it uh, steam of 120 degrees Celsius. So there are two barriers included in this tower. And at the bottom you see the let's see inject port um, where finally the valve will be connected uh, to turn on or turn off the steam supply. And uh, on the top you see also this uh, instrument and uh, in 
this needle in the optimum is just in the middle of 12 to 14 volt and there's a light also inside uh, when uh, the voltage or the current is generated uh, the light will shine and also uh, light the instrument even at low light conditions and uh, in the, the for the next part of the project I will dismantle the whole thing and uh, then I will paint uh, this uh, housing here on the typical amphora red which I use for all parts inside of amphora and this I will show you in a separated video.